Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of Cote's Cube, live from the Transworld Surf offices. Very special guest today, Mr. Joel Patterson, my boss, my friend, the editor-in-chief of Transworld Surf. Welcome to the show, Joel. Thanks. It's nice to be here. Well, we have you on the show today because you did something very special on the North Shore this year. Why don't you tell uh, everybody what you did over there? Well, I got to interview Kelly Slater for the new magazine. All right. So uh, how did that go? I know we have a, an issue of it right here. This is the latest issue. You should have it in your hands right now. Let's just talk a little bit about the, the adventure that was interviewing Kelly Slater. Um, well, I I, um, I was on the North Shore, and I showed up, and my first day there, I drove around for a while trying just to locate Kelly, which was kind of hard. I threw team managers and agents and all the whole maze of people he has set up to kind of block media. I somehow figured out a way to him, and I figured out where he was staying. So I drove down there, and the, literally the whole street where, where he was staying was just full of, like, Brazilian reporters with backpacks, like, trying to find him, like, looking over fences. And you, like, call him on the phone and go, Kelly, where are you? I mean, you, you know him, right? Well, I know him. I, I went on a trip with him this year, earlier this year in the Caribbean, but you don't call – Kelly doesn't answer his phone as far as I know. Probably gets a few calls a day. Yeah, probably a couple hundred. But um, I, I was talking to his agent this, or uh, his, like, media person, this woman named Shelby, who's really cool. And um, she got me down there finally, and, and I made it into his little compound. And it is a compound. It's locked. And um, inside there's, like, not really security personnel, but there are people. Big dudes that, like, will – punch you if you try to tackle Kelly or something weird. Yes, an entourage for sure. Yeah. So you finally get him. Do you, do you sit him down or, you know, what, what, how did you uh, actually put the tape recorder in his face? Well, he kind of sat me down. I, I, I had to sit there for probably two or three hours while he finished documentary interviews for a Quicksilver movie that's being made about his seventh world title. And so I kind of sat and the thing with Kelly that you have to do is you have to pretend to not care. You have to, like, as soon as you start paying attention to Kelly, he gets disinterested in you. So I just kind of sat there and, like, did my own stuff. And he would kind of come in and out. They would give him little breaks from, from making the film. And it was interesting because um, there, were, there are these people who are just kind of around Kelly all the time. And they're usually, like, famous people from outside of the surfing world so there was uh, the director Julian Schnabel was there he made the movie Basquiat oh, yeah, yeah. about Jean-Michel Basquiat and um, he was interesting and definitely a surfer which I would have had no idea and, yeah. and he wanted to talk about surf photos and Herbie Fletcher was there and we talked G to him. Giselle there by any chance Giselle wasn't there and uh, I was that was kind of what I was hoping for but uh, no she's oh. easy on the eyes she is I agree. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to uh, Kelly Slater. So, you know, you, there's you know Herbie and the directors and just kind of random people all over. How do you se how did you separate him from this pack? Well, eventually, um, eventually, it he finished his thing with the documentary guys, and then it became like. Uh, well, then I thought we were going to do our interview. Shelby was like, okay, you ready to do this? You know, she was definitely, like, handling Kelly. And and then all of a sudden he had this idea where he want, needed to go up to this piece of land that he owns up in Pupukea Heights. And he had this, like, uh, designer woman there, like a, an interior designer. and Just she, random, more random people. More random people. And they're like... Whenever he gets a moment, they, like, start pitching him ideas and, like, talking to him about what the couch should look like or... It's interesting, and so we went up to Pupuke Heights, and we we looked at his piece of property, and you had to like you, you told me you had to like hike in and like through the jungle, or well, we drove in and we we you, we looked at it from up top, and then and then uh, and then everybody kind of left, and they kind of left Kelly and I to do an interview up there, and instead of doing an interview, he's like, "Let's go, we're hiking," and and so we like hike down through down this mountain through like brush like I machetes, mean, you're like. We didn't have machetes, but he had this, like, he picked up this, like, tumbleweed and was, like, making a hole through the brush. It was insane. I was literally like, why are we doing this? This sucks. And just getting cut by that elephant grass or mosquitoes everywhere. And we finally hiked down to this little, like, level down there where you could kind of see out all the way to, like, from, like, off the wall up to 
pipe. It was really cool. He has like, an amazing view from this piece of property. So you finally sat down and you started doing the interview, and, and it was obviously – Could you was it going well or was it weird? Like how did you feel like it was going while you were doing it? We still didn't do the interview. We hiked around for a while. He had to like show me all these things, and then we hiked back up again. And, uh, and then we drove back down to his house, and then he showered. And then – and I still pretended like it was cool and I didn't care and like everything was fine and – uh, during this whole time, I like missed picking up a bunch of people from the airport, and uh, you're on Kelly's schedule, basically. I was on Kelly time for sure, and eventually, after all that, we finally sat down in these two little chairs that are right in front of off the wall down there and um, watched Rob Machado have a surf session and did the interview. Awesome, yeah, and I think it turned out really good. It's on newsstands now. We're really proud of you, Joel. You did a great interview. Transworld Surf Magazine. Thank you for watching the first episode of Cote's Cube. Thanks a lot, Joel. It's a pleasure to have you in my cubicle. And uh, we'll see you next week with the second episode. We're going to have a very special show for you. See you then. Yeah.